Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more Mech Warrior Online. Today I'm going to start things out with my Black Jack or the BJ1. And once again, on my least favorite map, Terra Therma. But uh, we'll try to make the best of it, stick with this group. I am, of course, long range sniper or maybe in some cases considered fire support. But it uh, looks like we've got the bulk of our force moving in this direction. This is definitely a game where you don't want to go off on your own. Although I suppose I could say that about most games online. But uh, this one, you can get dropped really quick. Because there's not always a lot to hide behind. Some of these maps, especially this one really, it's just uh, some of the, the corners. I'm going to take a quick stroll through some lava. Just to get through here. Since it doesn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot to you. I've been playing a lot with my Phoenix variants, of course, but uh, it is nice to go back to some of the tried and true mechs in my garage. I do love this one. It's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing, but uh, it, it's a great chassis. So you can see this guy over here has the same idea. Yep, exactly. Keep him at bay. Let him have it. Cover the force moving forward. And just keep their heads down so they can't uh, get a high ground advantage. That guy's shooting at somebody on the bridge there. Oh! Friendly walked in front of my shots. Taking advantage of this advanced zoom again. So we have to keep our eyes on this ridge as well, but uh, they're going over. So we should be clean there. I took some hits, apparently. Perhaps from that side. Incoming. Missile. Missiles inbound. Going evasive. Uh, stuck on something. Which is usually what happens when I try to go in reverse. Now, I probably got hit by missiles before. Alright, now we're going to have to get some sort of angle on these guys. Trying to lead some targets while he runs off. Use my speed to relocate. And uh, we want to take a look at our 6 2 just in case somebody decides to flank. They are maintaining that high ground, which can be dangerous. Scanning for different targets. That's a commando. He'll be hard to hit from all the way over here. Six o'clock. Yep. We need to get hauled down here. Can't tell if he's down or if he's shut down. I think he just shut down. Yep. Keep them pinned down with our high rate of fire. How's everything behind me? Alright, we got some units behind us to keep us clear. And we're pushing them on that flank there. Let's go assist, or try to at least. Nothing.
Something on the left. Up, oh, contact right, I believe. It's coming from my six, so I'm just trying to get evasive at this point. Because I know that I'm exposed if I stop here. Not exactly the engagement range I like to be at with this thing, but... Get out of his line of sight. Oh, we shut down. Bring her back up, Chief. <laughs> Things are getting a little desperate here. I know I have lasers, but I'm not using them too much because it's hot. And I'm already heating up just with these two auto cannons. Ninety-seven percent there. Ah, this isn't looking very good. Jump on over him. Leg is gone. Ah. Nuts to that. I fell into their close quarters engagement, uh, engagement range, which is uh, the death of me, really. Because, as I've said in the past, I'm much better at long range. I decided to go in and assist our units because they had come in... Uh, from our rear flank or our six o'clock position and that just did not work out so all of a sudden we were outnumbered and these guys are just kind of hanging out up top over here for some reason I'm not sure why they are doing all right in regards to health but uh yeah not uh seeing a lot of action unfortunately i think they are all uh or they made their way towards me at the end there if we take a look at the score currently it's pretty spread out can go either way right now man that's too bad now that loadout is with this map, very difficult to use those lasers and continue continuously fire the auto cannons. Um, you know, even just the two auto cannons were heating me up a lot. So I I decided to not use the medium lasers because it was just just burning up. Hopefully these guys can avenge me, but uh, this guy see right now. I think we're just dealing with a better group uh, on their side. Uh, that guy's cooking. Terminator 2 style. Seeing this Victor, a couple of these units are just by themselves. And, and that's really the issue that we're running into is a lot of our team went off on their own. Or overextended. And now, so we've got a two on two here. Where they're engaging this, uh, well, he's down. That blackjack is out of action. Single target who is smoking. Let him have it, guys. You got this. There you go. I think that's it. Well, good job. Would have been nice if we had everybody uh, together, but it was a good comeback, at least there. They all down to our final two men. So, thank goodness they at least knew what they were doing. We did do some good damage there, 315, considering most of it was with auto cannons. I will take that. Zero kills, but eight assists. Uh, component destruction, three spotting assists. So, not bad. Let's move on to the next. All right, still kind of kicking it old school, jumping into the Jaeger Mech dual Gauss rifles. Which, uh, I have to say, I love this loadout. It's <laughs> it is a lot of fun, not for the faint of heart, but um, this is also a good map for it. Long range, decent amount of cover.
stick with the pack here. Let's see. Alright, I think we'll go to our usual location on this side. Now you always have to remember you don't want to be the first target because you can go down pretty quickly. You almost want the attention on a on another mech because that way you can get in your sniper shots. We'll try to climb through here. Yep, shots out already. Now we just want to start our peak, pull back. Uh, let's see, with that range, a little rough there. Not able to target him yet. See, the problem is, we don't have enough friendlies up in front of me. See, there's some other contacts. Bright purple. And that's a prime example of why making your mech look like that is a big mistake, in my opinion. Because if you do have ECM or you're unable to be locked on, that camouflage can make or break you. That's why I go with realistic camo patterns. This isn't Solaris or some sort of arena where you're trying to show off your mech. This is, this is war, ladies and gentlemen. See, this guy's just a gigantic target. Thank you for being purple, I guess. He gets a nice PPC hit on me, though. Now, they're coming around in, in big force here. And while there may be some targets of opportunity, that means that they're just going to overwhelm me if I'm not careful. Shots out. I don't know if any of those are really connected. But this mech... It's not a blackjack, it's not as fast, and it's, uh, it can be a big target, so I have to really be careful about that. We got him, Shadowhawk, flanking around. These guys are under fire, that Shadowhawk is dealing with him there. Shot out, maybe that looked like an arm connection. Shot out, back off now, because we know he's got some PPCs on him. Uh, at this point, I would like to relocate to maybe go for a flank, but I just don't have a lot of the speed for it. And if I can assist. Some hits on the side there. Still got some friendlies. I just worried about uh, my back. There's some movement there. Purple people leader. I guess it's some sort of clan. Uh, you know, that's fine. You want to have some sort of uniform design, but... Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, there we go. Boom! That's that dual gauss, baby. That's how it works. Again, I'm worried about my flank. I have no idea what could be behind me or on my left. We don't have many friendlies back there, so we're just going to try to come up through here and engage. Yep, see? I was right to watch that side. We have some lasers that we can use. I've almost forgotten about them. See, now, this is not what I want to be in with here. It's not my kind of fight. Ah! Yeah, I can't deal with that guy. 
Uh, really good damage. Could have done so much more, but I cannot get into those close quarters engagements. Just like my last fight with the blackjack, the second that I am outside of my comfort zone, the second that I am no longer a ranged combatant, I am dead. So, in that situation there, I probably should have backed off and flanked around, but it seemed that they were being engaged on the other side, so I tried to come up around their right. Uh, we dispatched one, but unfortunately, running into an atlas is, is just never fun. Especially a big purple one. So we'll have to see how the rest of the team does. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the score. And this game should belong to us. They've got two targets left. There's that Atlas. He's finished. And they're working on. This guy's not going down without a fight. I think I had hit that guy a few times from range. And that's that. That's all she wrote. Good job, team, on that one. Once again, I get taken out, but I did uh, throw out some good damage, so I'm, I'm happy with that. If I can... I, I've gotten a little better about at least getting an average of 300, so I'm okay. You know, I, I think I said in the past around 400 is where I would prefer, but 300 is not bad. 389, really close to it anyway. Five kill assists, two component destruction. Uh, fantastic job there. I just probably could have changed a few things in regards to my tactics uh, as I was only with one other mech at that point. But, uh, again, I'll take it. Alright, final match with the Shadowhawk. This is my triple AC2 loadout. A lot of people laugh at it, think it's kind of crazy, but uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy, is it satisfying. So, let's see what we can do with it. It is, of course, a little blinding at times. The muzzle flash is kind of crazy. But uh, right now we want to pay attention to the team. Take a look at the mini-map. See where everybody's going. Looks like they're heading this direction. I usually like to travel this route. take the bridge. Might end up with some city fighting. But uh, they're saying that they think they went lower. One contact. Atlas. My favorite. Alright. I don't know. He might be alone though. Yeah. It looks like he's going to have a bad day. He is down below. Got an assist on him just to get a few shots on the way out. Uh, hard to see here. So I'm going to keep going forward. Worst case scenario is that they try to capture the base and we've run away from it. But we're near theirs as well. Again, don't uh, overextend. Make sure that we've got friendlies around us. Watch that friendly mech in front of us. We don't want any friendly fire. Missiles inbound. Use the buildings for cover, if possible. Uh, they might reach over. Reverse. Still on us. Change my route. To use these buildings as cover. Any 
We lit him up, but it is now time to relocate. Don't pop out of the same area if you can help it. Continue on with the same target. So there's this guy aware of us, but we want him to know that we see him. So even if it sometimes means switching targets, let him have it so he doesn't feel safe. Base is under attack, though. We're taking fire from the front there. Switch things up a little bit. Reroute. Now, surprisingly, our forces aren't really focusing on their base, even though we're close to it. I'm going to head back just because I don't know if anybody else is. And if anything, maybe it'll give us a different flanking position. Although I'm alone here, so this is mis a big mistake. I can't really see much here. See this guy right over here. I think it's one person capping. Problem is, if I go into base, there's more around there. We've got a friendly on base, so I'm going to continue to move in and assist. Base is being captured. Base fifty percent captured. We're still sitting on it, huh? No longer. Got targets all over the place. Oh, snap. Gotta watch that heat side strafe. Fracking A. Get into some cover with those jump jets. Full reverse. Go evasive. <sighs> Alright, we grabbed some cover, but there could be somebody behind us as well. Need to watch out for that. This guy's not aware. I'm not going to use that medium laser right now, because these things run hot enough. Three of them. Ah, fracking Atlas once again. Ah, well, we did 544 damage on that, though, which is phenomenal. But can the team pick up the slack? Once again, three times in a row have I really made, I've basically made the same mistake where I've attempted to go in to a close quarter situation when I have three mechs that haven't been built for that type of combat. The way that I have them set up, they're just not going to be able to take that type of punishment. So it's, it's almost about formulating a new plan, you know, okay, Somebody's attacking base. Do I need to go in there? Did I in that situation? No. I should have stayed further back, engaged from range. The problem was that our base has so much cover around it that it was hard to stay too far back. Uh, there's a big drop ship in the way. There's buildings all over the place. Very difficult to get in there and, and hit anything. Uh, 
or I should say, I needed to get in there in order to be able to hit something. I couldn't stay back and acquire a target, but uh, perhaps that would just come to knowing the map a little better. And this spider just, I guess, seems to be AFK. It looks like we've lost this one, unfortunately. But let's take a look at this score here, if we can. No, that's just going to be it. So... They only had three mechs left, which makes me think that I should have definitely played uh, a lot safer than I did. You know, we did do 544 damage, which is definitely nothing to laugh at. All in all, I'm actually very happy with my personal performance on these matches. You know, uh, two out of three ain't bad, and uh, a lot of good damage there. Just need to... Uh, work on my tactics a little bit and that's what it's about learning experience so with that said ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me i will definitely see you on the next one